So starting the week off with what seems like a pretty good tone, what's your overall trading outlook for the week ahead? Morning, Alicia. Um, I would say that pretty much last week was um, a week called the week of resistance. We saw so many equities, so many counters on the Nigerian stock market, uh, seeing a lot of resistance. Um, we saw, if you look at the top 10 uh, by market capitalization, um, we saw the likes of Nigerian breweries trading flat 16 era from Monday to Friday. We saw First Bank dropping marginally. We saw Zenith Bank dropping marginally as well. But the major driver, why we have a slight increase, was uh, UBA, which appreciated about 4.35%. Uh, we saw Dangote Sugar also closing week on week, uh, a marginally higher, and IBTC stand big. So really, this top 10, these top players are the ones that drive the index. So um, last week, many of the, I mean, the other nine, I mean, the other seven, they traded um, almost flat. So really, um, this week, we expect that um, coming from the uh, resistance we saw last week, the tendency is that uh, many of these stocks are about to break new levels. Uh, we, we believe that uh, this week people will be looking at First Bank because of the decline, people will be looking at Zenith Bank and also notably uh, Union Bank because uh, Union Bank is one of uh, the deemed uh, troubled banks uh, but we, I mean, just as we know in this market right now, you trade the rumor and the sell on the, uh, on the, on the results. I tell you, people are looking at Union Bank right now, people want to take position. Uh, in the expectation of something good that's coming into the stock. As, and as you mentioned also, Ecobank is seeing a bit of appreciation and I think people are still going to be looking at it. Okay, so that got the banking sector covered. Let's look at the food and beverages space. I mean, Nigerian breweries you highlighted earlier has been sitting pretty stable of late. Do you see this as presenting opportunity for investors? Because certainly dividend payouts here are offering nice incentive. Yes, very good. Um, Nigerian Beauties um, released a forecast last week. Uh, I know a lot of analysts have flogged this already, but I'll just quickly mention that um, uh, turnover growing and the company seeing material, uh, um, uh, they're still seeing patronage of its product, and we are going to see profit drop uh, uh, slightly compared to the year-on-year -year, uh, first quarter of 2009. Um, I think the reason, although management has not come out with any statement, but you would recall very quickly that there was fuel scarcity in Nigeria in the first quarter, or really in the first quarter of 2010. Now, Nigerian Beauties is not immune to this. We believe that um, this is going to go into its operating expenses. Uh, I mean, any petroleum product was, I mean, sold at inflated prices in the first quarter of 2010. So really, that is going to affect um, its uh, profitability in the first half of 2010. But really, we're expecting the 2009 full year result, and we believe that the full year result is going to look very good. Currently, Nigerian Bureau has paid 130 kobo for the first uh, dividend. The second dividend, they paid 150. We expect that they will still do no less than 150. So um, we're, uh, we're estimating two naira. So eventually, as I had mentioned, the last time I spoke about Nigerian bureaus, we expect that Nigerian bureaus in total will pay about 4 naira 80 kobo, and we still stand by that. At 60 naira, there's still um, marginal upside. It's a very good stock. We have our target price still put at 65 naira, and yeah. I think um, it's a very good stock to play. Well, a good stock to uh, to to get into with this retrospective view but I mean looking forward given the fact that there are these headwinds that present themselves uh, in the like of operational expenses moving forward is that not a concern for you moving forward now these are um, these are situations that Nigerian bureaus is not in control of even if you're a very good company even if you um, if your production is still uh, very good and um, you are seeing a lot of patronage now it has to do with the economic environment with which Nigerian bureaus is playing in it will continue to look good and I think in the subsequent quarters even at that first quarter result is not where Nigerian bureaus make a lot of its profits it comes in in the second and in the last quarter of the year because of the celebration so it's not a problem for the company.